see the humanitarian landscape changing. We are experiencing in real time the huge challenges of humanitarian access. And I think sometimes we have not been ambitious enough of the potential of working together. The needs are not diminishing, and therefore I really believe that it's partnerships for meeting needs. That's why it's so important. We need to find the right people, uh, the right competences, um, to be able to do that fast, but also with a lot of consistency. And that's what makes the Red Cross Red Crescent so powerful, and what makes also partnership so, so strong. The moment Red Cross is not there, the question is, where is the Red Cross? Why are we not there? الشغل بالصليب الاحمر يعني هتكون متطوع بالصليب الاحمر هي رسالة انسانية وحيلا شغلة بتعملها انت ما بتنطر بمقابلة شيء يطلع لك لو كان مادي بس القصص المعنوية هي بتقدر تغطي عن الموضوع بحيلا نزاع مصلح بحيلا مشاكل موجودة الصليب الاحمر اللبناني موجود وصليب موجود كموارد بشرية والصليب الاحمر الدولي موجود كموارد أكبر بكتير لا يكملوا بعضهم ويوصل الهدف الأساسي اللي هو هم خدمة الإنسان <تصفيق> بالأول كنا نساعد السوريين كانوا يحكوا كتير يعني كانت الناس ترجع تقول ليش صليب الأحمر عم يساعد السوريين بعد ما اكتشفوا أنه نحن منساعد السوريين واللبنانية مثل بعضهم و... واثنين أكثر من بعضهم تغيرت هذه النظرة كلها سوا The Lebanese Red Cross, like every national society in the world, wants to be accepted today by all communities. So tomorrow, when there is a, a, a need to respond, everybody knows who you are. So when they get out into the field, they are ready to provide neutral, independent services. And for that, the emblem has not been put into question, because it's the service that's, that's there. Un volontaire à la Croix-Rouge, on essaie de lui donner la fierté de, de ne pas appartenir à un parti politique. That we have principles that no one else has. We should be proud of these principles. They are as relevant today as they were 150 years ago. Neutrality doesn't mean you sit on the fence doing nothing. You, we always take the side of the victims. العمل عم يكبر كثير ومع هذا بالاضافه لهذا الموضوع لازم يكبر الكادر فاذا كبر الكادر وما كانت عنده الخبره المناسبه فمعناتها نحن حياه اشخاص عم تعرض للخطر وحياه اشخاص تعرض للخطر هو شيء غير مقبول لا بالنسبه للجنه الدوليه ولا بالنسبه للهلال الاحمر <تصفيق> Puisque les gens sont habitués à la Croix-Rouge, à travailler avec la Croix-Rouge, le CICR aussi est accepté, parce que les gens ne font pas la distinction. Et quand la société société ou l'ICRC créent des problèmes dans le field, l'impact sera très négatif et nous allons perdre notre réputation. We would like to proudly talk about our strong 189 national societies. We know that in reality not all of them are strong and accountability and transparency and anti-corruption work is a prominent feature of, of the discussions on the agenda. que ellos día a día tienen aquí en la comuna y en el entorno drogadicción, violencia, conflicto armado, eh, pobreza. ¿Cuáles son las ventajas de trabajar con el CICR? 
que llega a estas comunas, que llega hasta partes donde ni la policía llega, entonces nosotros podemos intervenir, podemos entrar fácilmente, con todo, pues hablando con todas las personas que prohíben las barreras invisibles, podemos llegar hasta aquí, justamente para trabajar con estos niños y sacarlos de ese entorno. Working together protects us, our volunteers, and the people that we're trying to help. Nous, nous sommes toujours là parce que nous devons alléger la souffrance de la communauté. C'est pour cela que nous allons continuer en tant que volontaires à faire nos sensibilisations pour qu'un jour toute la communauté puisse être au courant le viol c'est quoi et la femme puisse avoir un jour sa place d'être femme. The National Society volunteers, they are from the same culture. They can respond and they can understand things maybe in a way that we would not. And can receive the people in a dignified way in their own cultures. So I think that this is a very good example of proximity supported by the ICRC. So I was there basically when the tsunami hit. I was stationed there and I, I had to deal with the immediate aftermath. I think this was something quite amazing to see people accepting the fate, nevertheless, and trying to help those who needed help. The best example, uh, most likely, is, is the PMI, the, the, the Indonesian Red Cross. I mean, they did everything they could possibly do to, to help their own people. Without uh, them, I think it would never have been possible to do as much as we were able to put in place. We are a big organization, but we cannot do it alone, that's very clear. And we absolutely need to find the right partnership to increase the impact of our response. L'avantage d'avoir travaillé ensemble pendant euh, si longtemps avec le CICR, c'est que maintenant, aujourd'hui, les gens se connaissent. Les gens sont habitués euh, l'un à l'autre. Et quand il y a une crise, les, on, on est plus réa, nous sommes plus réactifs ensemble. The personal issue is very important, the personal relation, but you need to have a clear standard operating procedures to formulate everything in practice. How we can work together to complement each other in operations, especially in operations. We can sit, we can discuss in the meetings, it's nice. But in the field, let's see how we can manage. The trust wasn't clear, the partnership wasn't easy. And this is why we decided after building our capacity and supported by ACRC directly and indirectly, we realized that we need to complement each other. Sometimes we work independently, but we inform each other of what we're doing. We may not completely agree, but we respect what each other does. This terminology about using each other, does the ICRC use national societies for our objectives? My answer to that question is, I hope so. 
and I hope that national societies use the ICRC in their operations. I think that it's only when we are openly and transparently using each other that we can really take the best out of the movement. I have asked partners in South Sudan at a recent partnership meeting, what are you doing to invest into the South Sudan Red Cross? It is very clear that there are competent South Sudanese. So, you know, I think we really have options there, choices to make in terms of investing into our own staff or investing into the capacity of the host national society. Sorry, Mohammed. Sans le CICR, la Croix-Rouge libanaise n'aurait pas été capable d'accomplir ce qui a été fait jusqu'à maintenant, c'est-à-dire de reconstruire pratiquement le, depart le département d'ambulance, d'augmenter l'efficacité, d'augmenter l'accès des gens au service des ambulances. I think we are very innovative in the way we adapt our response to the people in the field. We have to because we are close to people. Hamis, Atallah Abu Salim. Hamis, Father. British Red Cross, we've really tried to prioritize an expertise in cash-based responses. In the ICRC, it falls under that, that sort of ECOSEC, economic security area of work of which the ICRC has been able to draw down on to deliver some really significant cash-based response or livelihood support for people affected by crisis. I think it's much more flexible than just giving them, for example, any kind of uh, assistance that they might not perceive as good for them. So it's more about uh, giving them a choice. We as humanitarian, we will have to continue to respond to very, very uh, acute emergency. And the only way to be able to do that is to have strong partnership, which allow a National Red Cross, a Red Crescent, and an ICSC uh, uh, to really be able to answer with all these different competencies and to be prepared for the worst. And we have to be prepared for the worst. It's quite easy that the donors will find other humanitarian actors to, to do business with. And we're either in this business professionally or we're not.